welcome to this channel. Today we are going to see how Moodle Cloud is working. So I will demonstrate um, the minimum requirement, how to develop and how to float a course. Okay, let us start. So we are coming to the MOOCs. MOOCs is a bundle of courses. It's a massive courses, massive online courses. There is a MOOCs, but a Moodle is a platform. So on Moodle, we can develop a course. Even Swim also a platform. On Swim, we can develop our courses. Now I'm um, demonstrate how we can create our own course uh, on Moodle's cloud. Uh, you can ask one question: What is the difference between Moodle's cloud and uh, normal Moodle's, which we are generally we are using in our campuses? The Moodle platform that is installed in a server, so that one administrator will be giving privileges. In the permissions we can create our courses and uh, all the things will be under the control of the administrator but if you are coming to the Moodle cloud it is a free um, service given by the Moodle's given by the Moodle's platform service providers uh, here you need not comes under any administrator you will be the administrator of your own course you can add student you can delete student you can add courses like that so completely comes under your control okay and it is a free of cost of course there is a premium versions also there by paying the premium versions depends upon our usage and requirement you can go further you will see one by one at the end of this uh, the video definitely i'm sure that you'll be confidently float your own course okay right let us start so initially we have to go to dot com so yeah, Moodle Club. right this is a site address I just type in the moodlecloud.com will be coming to this site so here you see the Moodle cloud features pricing the pricing okay we'll see one by one the login and sign up we need not log in because we don't have any login id credential the sign on down you can see get started for free we are looking for this free using the service right so we are supposed to click on this it's just to go through all the remaining things which are given just for your preliminary information right okay now i'm coming back to this icon get started for free you just click it so once if you are clicking it will be next uh, um, the slide is showing to us so here you can see the pricing see the pricing has been selected the free trial is at zero dollar and what are the maximum users? 200 users, 200 students can be accommodated in your class. You can invite them. And what are the size you are adding on the PPT videos, these, that, all the stuff, right? So maximum of 400 MB uh, given to us. So free of cost, okay? And what are the services they are providing? This is that the latest Moodle version. Yes, it's the latest one. And these are the other things. See, one by one. And a custom certificate is not provided. These are the into marks they are not providing. If you are going to the next tariff, next version by paying, those things also will be added one by one. Okay. And you see the $80 is per year. $80 in the sense it comes around 2500 or 2600 per year. You have to pay to get into this starter, uh, the version. And other things, if any schools or colleges, institutions, smaller kind of, otherwise, according to this, you can see. And according to your number of users, you can go beyond that. The max of one GB also they are giving so that one GB contents you can okay. And you may ask one question: it is only 45 days. We are putting our own stuff and all the things to, uh, to construct a design a site. Then what happens after 45 days? No need to worry. The 40th day or 42nd day, before 45th day, you can back up the complete contents of your site. So back up and download the backup file. And once again, you register as a fresher using another mobile, another mobile number. So the another mobile number will be registered with different email ID. There you can call this backup file and you can install that. The same thing, the same backup file will be um, open up there and the same configuration, same file, same course will be. Once again, you can launch, you can invite your students. Okay, right. So clicking on that, get started. Here we are coming to the next step. As we are the fresher, we're supposed to go to the middle one. See, ready to get started. 
now we are ready to get started so click on this create and you are coming i'm clicking that now we are coming to next stage let's agree on few uh, things so these are the things i confirm i am 18 years so these are the procedure policies you have to agree to proceed that and click next now we are coming to next screen see it is showing that only five steps to create your site to create setting that and it is asking select all images with the cross box so this is a cross box it is a cross box any other no verify yes now you can click on next it is uh, giving the next opportunity you can choose your site name what is the site name you can choose um, your own site name for example apple dot you see apple someone already taken orange yeah orange also someone taken mm what should i do rose yeah, rose is available rose dot models model cloud dot com so rose dot model cloud dot com is going to become over see here you can see this is our uh url okay so now you can come down so these are the three server places they are giving ireland united states and australia so there are three places they already installed the servers to provide the service to the um users like us so which one is nearer to uh, our australia i'm taking australia and come down what based describes how you intend to use model cloud trying out or evaluating model or testing the latest version of model or for your k2 a k12 or use higher education all these things so i am selecting for using higher education okay and I click on next now we are going to third step. receive the otp right so this is the otp and I click next so third step is completed now it is asking for passwords now we have to ensure that the password okay now it is saying that weak password because the special characters you know those things you know and the combinations if you are giving the password will be strong i have given only the limited numbers so it is saying that it's a very weak password okay i go to the next step now we are moving to the fifth step that's the last and final step here i see one two three four five okay. thanks take me to the moodle site now now we can click this we'll be jump into our newly created moodle cloud site so it will take some few seconds now we'll be moving to the moodle cloud site see this is the fresh new moodle site for our course Thank you.